hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am back today with another video this time i kind of wanted to talk about some of the things i got in that last haul video what worked what didn't work and i also have some new items to show you that i picked up um so if you're interested in seeing any of these items or my thoughts on previous items please keep on watching okay so before i get into the sephora stuff i'll show you like the other things i got really quickly and then we can talk about the items from sephora so um i picked up a few items from the brand more mora uh cosmetics they are the ones trim mood posted who has those ombre blushes and if you know me you know i love a good blush and i love ombre brushes blushes i think that they are so pretty and fun to look at so i picked up three of them from the brand and this is what the packaging looks like it's very simple you know plastic has a ear the uh the name of the brand and like holographic letters and this first blush is called bella pink it's like a light pink to a deeper rose ombre shade situation going on here oh of course i'm going to drop everything Ooh, excuse let's see where did it go okay i'm back um yes yeah, so i picked up that one it's the first one i got the next one is ruby flush oh these are what the boxes look like sorry i didn't show the first one and this is what ruby flush looks like this one kind of looks like three tones but you know once they all mix together it's a pretty kind of coral shade for the cheeks and last but certain and certainly not least if you were to pick up any of these blushes i recommend picking up this one it's gonna be so pretty for summertime i love 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 orange blushes and this ombre is the prettiest ombre that they offer it is called orange blossom and just look at this it's like a tequila sunrise i think that's what that drink is called um yes like how pretty is that this hair it's gonna be on my nerves i think and um so to get like free shipping on the website you had to spend it's a very inexpensive brand i think those maybe about like nine dollars a piece but to get free shipping i think it was maybe over like forty dollars and with the coupon code um they do offer like coupon codes so please look out for those and so i decided to try one of their palettes i thought that this was very like unique looking and very pretty this purple is so gorgeous such of these teal this blue pink yellow orange this gold is very pretty this green is pretty the shimmery teal shade in the corner very pretty but i guess i should tell you the name this is the mora i hope i'm saying it right i'm probably not uh wild in color exotic series packet palette even the packaging of this palette is very 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 pretty but it, you know it's just cardboard packaging but the design and the artistry is very nice on this palette um i picked up a few things from alta just a few alta they've been stingy with the coupons i feel like lately but um i heard good things about this morphe um foundation brush it is the what is it the e63 foundation brush i wonder if i can get it out of here real easily yes and so i don't know if alta sells it by itself but the brush itself is like maybe let's say 18 dollars but the set is only like twenty dollars so you get the brush and the sponge for two more dollars so i decided to pick it up i heard good things about this brush this is the brush they were giving away free when they launched a new foundation earlier this year but i never picked it up but i wanted i love a good foundation brush these days and i wanted to give this one a try i can see you see how it's like angled so it'll sit like perfectly on the face when you're applying your makeup and then it just comes with this uh, morphe microfiber beauty sponge 
um i've tried like the red one in the past um and i really really liked it but i discovered the sonia kashik uh makeup sponges and i have not looked back also from ulta i picked up the kat von d vegan beauty oh not Kat Von D, sorry. KVD Vegan Beauty, the Good Apple Foundation. Everybody, you know, went crazy over this. I think it went viral on TikTok. And I decided to pick it up because they had a shade in stock. Like, they had this one and maybe one other one in stock when I went. And I decided to get it because I think this one may match me with shall see and i got it in tan 057 i've heard like a lot of mixed reviews on this one but hmm, might be a good match i haven't tried it out yet but i will definitely keep you guys posted on that um and also from also i got a color plop pop blush this is from one of their trillion collection I don't know what collection, but the shade is Fashion District. And it's just a nude blush that I love. I just love these kind of blushes, of course. We all know that. But I got this one. Um, I think it was on sale. And I needed something to get to my 15 350 off coupon. And I picked these items up, actually, from Walmart, but I think they do sell them in Ulta. The Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette. I just thought that this one was so, so pretty. It's very reminiscent of those A-Pan palettes that they used to have back in the day that would knock any of eyeshadow on the market out the water. Any eyeshadow on the market right now out of the water. Those palettes were so good. I still, I got rid of most of them because they were like probably a decade old at this point, but I kept my Vanity Palette just as a keepsake. But it kind of reminded me of that. So hopefully the quality is the same. And this is in the shade or colorway uh, Heart and Soul. And it's, they wait a while to take their stuff down. So I won't even bother opening it up. But it's very nice, neutral, but it's just like, not pops of color color, but like that burgundy in there. You can do like all kinds of looks with stuff like that. And it's small convenient for travel and I think they retail for about five dollars and I got two wet and wild brushes blushes did I say brushes actually I actually said brushes anyway so I got the powder brush and these are like 99 cents I believe I just got a couple of them I won't so I really got it because I have been, I got, I have this one already and I have been using it to apply my foundation, excuse the dirty brush. Um, but I decided I wanted to get another one because I really, really like how it had been applying my foundation and I don't know if I have this one or not, the powder brush, but these brushes are synthetic brushes, but they are very, very nice, uh, inexpensive brushes if you are on the market for such an item. Okay. So got that through that fairly quickly all right so from sephora from my last haul okay so some of the items i don't currently have anymore because they were just a no for me um so two of those things are those rare beauty the lip souffles they just they 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 weren't my type of liquid matte lipstick the formula would be more for someone who likes like a light wash of color. They're not very pigmented. They kind of remind me a little bit of the NYX. What were those things called? Like they were based, they named like out of different, soft matte lip creams. Uh, but not as, but those were more, the NYX ones are more pigmented, but like that soft or well, souffle texture, uh, very comfortable to wear, but the, the pigmentation just wasn't there for me. So I had to get those back to the store and also that bubble bath that luxurious bubble bath i wore one day to work and i i wanted to go home from the moment i got there because it just did not smell good on me it smelled like dishwashing liquid after a couple of hours and i just did not like it at all 
so i brought those back so i did do an exchange which is probably just gonna end up being a return because that dior the one i was kind of like on the fence about that dior powder so i did try number four number four just did not work for me so i got number three and then as i get home i'm like oh this is probably not gonna work either i probably need like a 3.5 something they don't have um but so this is number three i haven't tried it yet and it kind of looks like it may match but i am not sold completely because in the pan it kind of looks one shade but when i swatched it it looked a like a lot lighter i don't know i think i'm just this powder is just not meant for me to have so on to the things that i did really really like um so the rare beauty concealer actually worked out uh i wore it a couple times already and it's a very nice lightweight but it uh, gives me enough coverage that i need and i really liked it uh this is my second or third time i'm wearing it today i really like this stuff i was kind of like because it's a skin tint but um it's very very nice it's long wearing it it, it gets good coverage not super full coverage if you do have like dark spots i did have to put some concealer first and then put this on top and i set it with this fenty beauty powder uh the pro filter soft matte foundation powder i really liked it as well um i liked the huda beauty obsession palette uh the caramel brown one i really liked that one um also i think that's it that i have tried thus far makeup wise from that haul i love the soul de janeiro the bomb dia cream but i think y'all got that from the first video and uh so i was saying in the first video that i wasn't gonna get it but when i had to go do that exchange i was like hmm. it was just calling to me and i had to answer so i ended up getting the third nest um perfume oil and the i still i don't know if i said green or blue but it's the green one because i do have a blue one too but i got the green one and it is in indian jasmine and this is good i am so glad i got it i really 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 like this i have worn it to actually see how i like it on my skin and it wears well very well like that so currently sephora is doing a buy online pick up in store um promo and you get 10 percent off so i was like since i got money back from returning that stuff i'll just get a couple more items um so i got so i returned two liquid lipsticks i got these now this formula is my type of formula i really love these Too faced melted matte liquid lipsticks they are very pigmented they are the most comfortable but they are uncomfortable to wear and they last all day oh i completely forgot where is it oh because i covered it up this is what i'm wearing today and it's not like bam in your face but it's giving what it needs to give and this is the Fenty, the Duo. This is the brighter one in Bubble Binge. Um, so, yes. But I got two shades. Again, I told you I'm in like red, nude, or bright pink lips these days. And I got the one in Nasty Girl. Now, Lady Balls is one of my favorite red lipstick. But this one is like a little bit deeper. I think she's going to be good and then i got the bright pink one and what's happening and who she's like a fuchsia not as like pink as my nails but yes she's 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 going to be cute as well and i tried them out today and i do think that they are a winner robin uh the new fancy beauty you know she has a name for everything um what are they called bright fix eye brightener so i use them as concealers uh, i got two shades um 
honey and deep butter. I'll show them to you and kind of show you how I wore them really quickly. Come on. So I put the deeper one, which is honey, number 10. Oh, you can't really see. This applicator, I think, may be a mess. And be careful, like, when you squeeze it out, because a lot comes out, like, more than I think you actually need. Um, but this is the honey shade, and I put it, like, you know, lower under my eye, like, where I will put concealer. And then I put the deep butter shade, which is a little bit lighter. They're both in, like, the warm family. <laughs> And um, I put this like directly under my eye right here and like layered them on top. I let it sit for a second to see if it'll kind of like dry up and get tacky because that's the best way I have found to blend out my concealer. And I blended it out with a sponge and I set it with the Laura Mer Mercier, uh, what is it? Deep, deep translucent honey, not deep honey. Lord, making up a name for these people. And I think i think i think it looks pretty good um and i got two bronzers i didn't do the buy online pick up in store but this one because this came in stock literally like two or three days after the sale it is the lys no limits bronzer and i'm just what's in the market for the new bronze i hadn't got any bronzer since um the fancy bronzer and I wanted to give this one a try. This brand has a, like some nice looking things, just nothing that I was really, really interested in aside from this bronzer. And I got it in the shade Courage, 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 yes. And it's like the third shade. So it's two more deeper than this. And this looks like it'll be like a good bronzing shade for me. I was thinking it was gonna be warmer cause it looks kind of cool. We'll see how that works out. And um, I did not get this from Sephora. I got it from Macy's. Macy's was having their 15% off sale. They do a couple times a year. And I got the Dior Forever Natural Bronze. And I got it in the shade 7 Golden Bronze. Um, I think they have one shade deeper than this one. And th this is what this one looks like. It just has the Dior imprinted in the powder and yeah that's it that is all i picked up with my returns and my thoughts on some of these products i feel like i always tell you guys about products but i don't always tell you what i think about them so let me know if you kind of like these kind of videos and please remember to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys